Hey everyone, here's the painting from the last video that started off as a mallet smash and then kind of just took a turn. So <laughs> I actually really like it. Sometimes the results are surprising, but this one I'm, I'm keeping. I like the delicate colors, but I like this. The, the piece has a definite focal point. Um, which is, you know, what a painting should have. <laughs> so I really like that. And today I'm going to do a string pull, but in fall slash autumn, whatever you want to call it, colors. Oh, I have you paint pointing all the way down because I just made a video um, of paint mixing. So those of you who want exact measurements, head up my paint mixing video. I actually measured. That's how much I love you guys. Because I never ever measure. But if you ever doubted my love for you, you shouldn't anymore. Because I got out measuring cups and everything for you. And this is the paint I mix, so we'll see if I like it. <laughs> Haven't even tried it out. Alright, so I'm going to take the lids off so I can put the strings in. I've got Indian Yellow. Um, gold. I am not sure what brand that is. The first was Arteza. Arteza Bordeaux Red. <clears throat> Um, Arteza Pearl Deep Brown. Um, this is Arteza Pearl Go Gold Copper, but with Artist Loft Iridescent Medium in it. And Arteza Prussian Blue. Because everything needs Prussian Blue. So, let's get the strings in there. Come on. Then you wouldn't know exactly what I'm doing. And this is the width of the twine I'm using. So I got my huge ash tree in my front yard cut down today. Um, well, not cut down, it's still there. Um, but trimmed. It hasn't to my knowledge, we've lived here 20 years, we've never trimmed it, um, and it makes me so sad. Perfect, perfect consistency. I may need to start measuring because this is perfect. Not too thin, not too thick. So this was four ounces, it's a four ounce tube of Arteza, um, five ounces Floetrol, and six ounces water. And it is like a perfect creamy consistency. to spread paint on the sides. And I'm actually 
actually going to put a little bit more, which I rarely do, but otherwise there will not be enough um, paint to tilt with. Alright, let me wipe my hands off and then, okay, then I need to clear some space over here. Hang on. Strings. Let me get twisted in there. You have to try and straighten them out without burning them too much. So they are obviously not long enough so what I'm going to do is like that oh well this gold is certainly going to be <laughs> it all the way fell in pattern going to different directions. So it will look quite different, I think. Now, which one should I do first? Just wiping them off so I can reuse them. I love Indian yellow. twisty on that one. And I didn't even say the full cuss word. I was just like super proud of myself. So in retrospect, maybe I should not have added that extra white. But I'm going to tilt this direction off first and then the other and then see what I'm left with. kind of down towards you and to the left. 
to spread it out more across the canvas. I'm losing a bunch of other stuff. Just straightening out this part. Since I used the red, the yellow, and the blue, it looks pretty similar to the other one. But I like the metallics in it. There we go. Just have to get it moving. Now bring it back. So this isn't so upright. So a lot of this is back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave this because it's up here too. So it's got a good balance. I love that. smooth finish. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of this just maybe a little bit down here where my fingers were. see some of the blue. There's the Prussian blue I lost. It's 
So there it is as a whole. I, I really like the colors. Like the metallics. You can see the metallics in there. Well, kind of hard on the phone, on the camera. But thank you so much for watching. I just love that part. And I will catch you all next time. Bye.